collected D3 olives today. I'll show you what we do, Tom, and reason why a reason why we flat cut the bases. One's a bit average. This big one, I reckon I can do a literati from, which is unusual for an olive, but that's not that's not that bad. We'll give it a go. I'm just going to show you what I do. Do this one first. So I look for the best front, and for me, it's on the back. Too much to cut off, too many scars and stuff will remain. So we'll come around here. Bit of dead wood in the feet in the front. Not a bad base, so we'll take off all these pieces and cut them to about here. And then we'll flat cut what he's just underneath this root and across here. We've got a tungsten tip chainsaw, so the grip is not a problem, you just gotta avoid rock. Right, we'll go in. these off. They're quite soft these smaller ones. I can just keep working our way around. Snips. Take that out. Straight away you can kind of see what, I'm, what I'll be going for. Get a bit of taper in. So we'll take this back guy off. See now that with this front here. So myself, I'll take him off about here. And also looking at the back, possible front. No, that that's not bad either. Really, I thought it'd be more scars and stuff than that. So we might go like that. And cut just on the gear. So that's that one. This one it was right next to the rest, and so I just came out easy. So I brought it home. It's definitely not the ideal sort of tree to try, being straight trunks and all. But we'll just take that off. That off. Take it to there, take that off, that off. So, really the tree come from here and up. This can come off now or we can just ring bark it here. That'd be a gin, if anything. 
So we might just ring back at around the stock growth going up. That saves a bit of time. If it decides to shoot here instead of there. Bring back it around. And that'll stop that growing. As for this one, we will cut it off here. As you can see, might even could even put on a slight angle. So you get some take happening there. This one. That's been ring bark, so it won't shoot. Okay, we'll cut just below these line of roots, and that one's done. Now this guy. So this guy come off. No plant in. Right. This one's a bit interesting because of the trunk. Follow the trunk up. So what I was thinking, this branch here, I can just pull down or something. So I've got this one. So, not really sure. So when I'm not really sure, I'll just draw some stuff back, take the leaves off the olive. So here we just Knife. This one here. Mm. Let's see. Get that knife. I might go over I don't like any leaves left on my olives. I just think it slows me down. Cut off. As for this branch, I can, I might be able to grow something in place of it. So we'll go back in here. And we'll just go to that for now. One here will cut just underneath the root. Here. We'll come back when that's all done, and I'll show you why. Another reason is it's just to flat cut it, and they reshoot stronger. Yep, they sure do. But the other reason is is to get into a shallow pot, and I'll show you the difference with this one. So, at the moment, there's no way that will go in there. This doesn't happen. So I'll be right back once it's flat face and I'll show you the difference. The 
and now we've cut cut the base off. Tungsten chainsaw chain is the only thing to use. They just stay sharp forever basically. Cut through that with the grit, no problem. Do it with a normal chainsaw and it'll be you know chain will go blunt. So just to show you the difference, now we've got this to work with and this will survive no problems whatsoever. Easily get that into a pot this size if you, if you wanted to without a problem in the world. And that's the other reason why these black cut stuff. Alright, so I'm going to go and pot all these up and then I'll show you them once. I'm just going to put them into uh, garden pots and, the other, and I'll show you something else I do just to speed things along a little bit. Okay, so got all these potted up. So the tip I was talking about is to develop an olive a little bit quicker than, you know, some people say let the thing recover, a couple of seasons and then take a look at it, work out where you go from there. Well, I don't like to waste time, so I try to find alternatives to the and find a solution to, if it's going to be growing for a couple of years, I want to be able to train it as soon as I can. And on small olives like this, um, it's quite achievable, two to three years you've got a tree that looks really good. So, on these pots, you notice that they've got a little mark. That's where the nurseries normally sit their tag. So I try to look at the trunk and go, okay, this is my best option for the front. Same with this one. There's the, there's the gap. There's my best option. This one here, there's a gap there. And there's my best option for the literati. So knowing that, I don't have to worry about repotting it. If it goes a year and I can train it, I will. If it goes eight months, I will. I've got a couple that are very advanced for their time. So if you get olives that shoot within a couple of months, six months later, you have all your primary branches in place. And people grow sacrifice branches. I do as well to thicken them up. I just do it in a different way, which I'll show you that later on. And I might actually, I've got one I can show you now. Here we have two olive trees. The tall one was collected approximately eight months ago. I've done some carving recently. The little guy, it's probably three months ago. So we take a look at the little guy. Just goes to show how early you can start training olives. You can wire those shoots so you're very careful. This is well on its way, like I'd say a year and they'd be pretty much developed. This guy is going good. Did some carving, still learning, learning how to carve. But as for my sacrifice branches, this one here is coming out, but it won't be much longer before I cut it short. This one here will get left long. This one here, the same thing. At the same time, I'll develop the foliage pads while these are the elongating out, thickening up the branch. Because if you let it grow for two or three years, cut it back and then a couple of years for your ramification you can do that at the same time so yeah that's my olive so he's going good so that's about it for today i do like olives so you'll see a few more videos later on